Hi, this is Amin, and for this video, we are going to talk about uh, Dalian controller and uh, 802.11k amendment. So, in general, the idea of having a Dalian controller is that to have control on what you are doing in a system. For example, uh, just uh, imagine like a four-story enterprise. And uh, on each floor, there are like 10 different uh, access points. If you need to change, I uh, mean, modify, tweak, do something on them, you should go one by one and change everything on all of them. I mean, connect your cable, just for example, change the SSID or the password or whatever. The idea of having a WLAN controller is to have like supervision here. I mean, you can manage, just you need to run something and uh, do your change and apply that and uh, then you can apply all of them simultaneously on all of the APs. This is the general concept of having a WLAN controller. But uh, what information, what data this uh, WLAN controller will get or uh, what are the other things, how uh, this thing can manage and uh, what are the benefits? During this video, we'll see. 802.11k, uh, it is uh, the amendment which is actually related to RRM and it stands for radio resource Ma measurement. And uh, the question is, what's that? This amendment, uh, and for real, I, would, I can say, it's the appearance of uh, WLC or wireless uh, local area network controller how about uh, gathering some sort of data and what are those uh, the data which is related to a physical layer and mac and mac we know that's a sub layer of a layer two we need some sort of data i gather them together and then uh, the ap or the wlc will do the management of uh, everything that is going to happen what are those data four things the first one is tpc transmit power control it started in 802.11h uh, and in order to reduce interference and now I mean in the K amendment we have that for every band. The thing is that we have a TPC or sometimes we call them ATPC automatic power control. We have our for example on this side we have our uh, WLC wireless line controller or AP and here we have our phone. For example I can say Minus uh, 50 dBm is acceptable, like a good power received signal level for this user. As the distance between the user and uh, the AP decreases, so the received signal level will increase. But this is the thing. The AP will decrease the broadcast power in order to what? In order to actually manage some energy, some battery, some, uh, I mean, in order not to broadcast a lot without any reason, as long as the U is good with that amount of received signal level. So this is the transmit power control. Next, we have a client statistics. What are those? Physical layer information, like SNR, RSSI, I mean, signal strength, uh, data arrays, and all of them can be reported back to WLC by user. In the Mac, like I told you, the sub layer of layer two, we have frame transmission, retries, errors, and all of them also maybe you know reported back to the WLC as well. What uh, what's next? We have a channel statistics. What are the channel statistics? A client may gather noise floor from uh, the RF energy in the background. Also, uh, something like channel load and. Is the channel crowded, populated, many users are over there. All of them, uh, they send back to the WLC. So then the WLC can manage, can have some sort of decisions about what to do. And finally, the last thing is neighbor reports. The main reason of that is for roaming. And if I want to talk about roaming, I can make another video. So uh, just we know that a start of that to have better roaming uh, is here, but uh, I will make another video about roaming. But right now, just we know that uh, this one uh, will give the ability to 
to the AP to know about other, I mean, the neighbors' APs. And also, you know, UEs at the beginning, look, when you just turn your uh, UE, I mean, your user, like whatever, smartphone, iPad, tablet, laptop, whatsoever. When you turn the Wi-Fi on, if it is the first time you're going to connect to something, you know that we have a prop request. Uh, if not, we have authentication requests. So you send the authentication request and at the beginning, you will receive a list of all the AP, uh, which are in the, I mean, the neighborhood or neighbor APs in case of roaming. So you have a, a list of all of the APs in that uh, area. So you can roam towards them. And this is the thing, like we call them neighbor reports. If we want to recap whatever we've said, uh, this one, this amendment 802.11K 2008, uh, it was the appearance in general, we can say of WLCs, uh, which they need TPC, uh, client and channel statistics and neighbor reports. But let's see, let's uh, see what we can find here. If I will add the link of uh, Sunfire blog, to uh, I mean beneath this video but the thing is that if you would like to see more and read more we can take a look at this like some uh, wires are captured this one it's like the radio resource measurement but the thing is that beacons of uh, wireless actually this amendment 802k they have uh, three things th three different uh, information elements which we call them ie the first one is country elements Second one is power constraint element and radio management, RM. For example, this uh, this photo is like a PCAP file, a Wireshark file. For one that we're gonna check. Here, if we take a look, we'll see we just have country information and there is no data related to power constraint or ra RM, radio, ma uh, radio, measure, uh, sorry, radio management. This is a thing. When we cannot see those two, uh, we are sure to say that uh, 802.11k is not enabled here. If you want to do it, just we have like a Cisco a wireless LAN controller. This is a thing we go in, in one of them. We go to the WLAN and then edit like uh, we would like to do what we would like to optimize something then advanced tab. Look, these are the things that we should check. I've actually, the box which are unchecked. We have assist roaming prediction optimization. We have neighbor lease and neighbor dual bands. As we enable all of them and again do the uh, packet capture, we'll see in the beacon, we have uh, power control, we have neighbor list, we have RM, we have country code. And then uh, now we know that uh, 802.11k is on and it's working so good this is whatever that i wanted to tell you about that uh, amendment about uh, actually a start of uh, wlc how wlc will manage and what is the effect of wlc on roaming so i hope you enjoyed uh, if you enjoyed just show me a thumbs up and thank you for watching my video bye everyone